hey, let's talk about royals, but not the royal story you think. How about <laughs> Prince William, who it may be a while before he ascends to the throne of England, but he has been crowned the world's sexiest bald man. Um, this is mm. based on the number of times he's been called sexy on the internet. And he beat out the likes of Mike Tyson, Bruce Willis, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which, excuse me, I do, I disagree. <laughs> um, all of those guys are in the top 10, but William is number one. Uh, there has been some backlash, though, and a strong showing of support <laughs> for Stanley Tucci. Mm -hmm. I concur. What do you think of these candidates? Well, I'm uh, I'm definitely on Team Tooch. That's what I call Stanley <laughs> Tooch. Uh, my passion for him has been so great that at my old job, when we got a review copy of his first cookbook, I think it was 2012, like the p several people came running over being like, Jess, Jess, do you want to review this? And I was like, uh, yeah, I do. And obviously the review was glowing. But I think there's a confidence that comes with Stanley Tucci that really, really attracts me to him. He's 60. He's been around the block a few times. What is in probably a pretty vicious industry. And there's something extremely mm -hmm. sensual about that confidence. Even with his his um, big film, Big Night, you guys have probably seen it. He co-wrote it, directed and starred in it. The original distributor dropped it because Tooch, the Tooch, refused to change <laughs> the ending. Like that is, you know, like, ooh, I, I love it. Mm, Can we go yes, back one the step? Tooch. I feel like the, because uh, I'm with you on the Tooch. I think that Stanley Tucci, tooch. if you haven't watched his CNN, uh, you know, Searching for Italy show yet, you must. You will fall in love with him. Can we go so back good. one step? You guys know this about me. I am a sucker for Italian men. Enough oh. said. So Tooch is to be kind of on top. Oh. Mel, I was going to say, totally so do Stanley yeah. Tooch like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> An Italian man say, Mom, eating Mom, food Mom, in Italy? Mm. And an Italian man who knows how to make a good Negroni. Come on, where's my apparel spritz? Oh, mwah, tutta bene. This is the way we do it in Italian <laughs> culture. I mean, Italians know how to do it. Uh, my fiance, he's Albanian, but he played in professional soccer league in Italy. So he's divulged me into the culture. And of course, aside from the food, I don't have to tell you guys about the food. Tooch, Tooch, you're doing something to us to all of us via the internet. I mean, did you guys see his last uh, video on Twitter that his wife was filming? He was making an Aperol spritz and the gun show, he was like popping out. He has this confidence about him. He doesn't care what you think because he's arrived. He's in his 60s, like me or not. I'm the tooch. I love that, Jess. <laughs> Unapologetically, and the, and the he's love got it. the Italian fashion yes. sense, guys. This is not just like a mm. bald head. This is a guy who dresses <laughs> with fine Italian threads. If you look at him, I'm like, come on, who wears a scarf like that? The Italianos. That's how you look when you're bald. That's how you should look. Can I can I just add here though, think, girls? Why why is Tay Diggs not on this list? And Lady, you might agree. Common, you have interviewed so many celebrities. Where are my rappers at? Where are my OG Baldies at? Where's LL Cool J? Where are these guys? <laughs> Well, I think that speaks to the um, why no one understands this list, especially Prince William talking it. You just hit yes. it right there, Patricia. Like, I think that we in our conversation have totally invalidated this list. Yep. Um, and are you know pushing it off to the side as the meaningless yep. list that it is because of all of your points and Stanley Tucci, the Tooch. Um, I want to go to. Mm -hmm. Christina on Twitter, um, she's chiming in. Christina on Twitter writes, there is a difference between a bald man and a bald spot. Therefore, I don't think Prince <laughs> William should be categorized in the category of a bald man as he still has oh. hair, LOL. But all jokes aside, oh. I find Dwayne The Rock Johnson the sexiest bald man. And I think even though we all have been saying that Rock is like, the, he's hot, The Rock has chimed in on this on Twitter because <gasps> even he is Ooh. clearly taking issues. And he's not even saying that it should be him. Oh. He's calling out another guy who Christina on Twitter probably doesn't agree with either because The Rock tweeted, um, if you take a look on the screen, how in the cinnamon toast F does this happen when Larry David clearly has a pulse? Hashtag demanding recount. <laughs> okay, I love He's The Rock, but The Rock David. is wrong. The Rock is wrong. 
<laughs> but it's amazing. Like, like, the rock is a rock all, and all, not be wrong, never wrong. Wrong. But the also Larry David <laughs> to the previous um viewers point is also not bald. That's Correct. a bald spot. Larry David spot. has not yeah. shaved all around. I think he's hilarious. I love Curb Your Enthusiasm, but uh, the rock is wrong. I'm sorry. I that is Stanley mm. Tucci, we can all agree on. Everyone has buy-in, the least polarizing. So can we please take the crown off of William, put it on Stanley yes. Tucci? We are all happy. Yes. Yeah.